I'm at St Paul's Roman Catholic Primary School on the Wirral to meet one of the nominees for this year's Champion of Champions. This nominee has a host of achievements to her name. She's three times world champion, six times European champion, a Commonwealth champion and a London 2012 medalist. She is Britain's most successful female gymnast. She is, of course, Beth Tweddle, MBE. Beth, great to meet you and well done on what's been a fantastic year. How do you feel about being nominated for this particular award, um, the Champion of Champions? It's a massive honour to be nominated for any award but to be sort of Champion of Champions and especially in my local area where I sort of grew up and it is a big honour and I'm so glad that I can actually attend the evening and there's so many people that get recognised at this event and it's nice to hear their stories. I mean, I do what I do. I don't see myself as a big inspiration. It's only when I come to schools and stuff, I kind of realise, hopefully, how much of an impact I've made throughout my career. But how does it feel for you personally to know that you have inspired and you are continuing to inspire so many young people who want to take up gymnastics because of what you have achieved? Um, it's great. I mean, before I came onto the scene, British gymnastics wasn't known. Whereas nowadays, if you do say to a young person, name a gymnast, they'll be able to say a British name rather than sort of an American or Eastern European, which it's an amazing achievement. And obviously, this summer, British gymnastics took the world by storm. And hopefully, the youngsters have now got role models that they can look up to. Did anyone watch the parades on the television when all the athletes went through London? The Olympics was the most amazing experience. I knew it was going to be big, but I don't think any Team GB athlete realised how big it was going to be. The support from the crowds, the volunteers, everyone just made it the most incredible summer for me. And I'll walk away with memories that no one can ever take away from me. And but when you got home, what sort of reception did you get? The whole village had sort of come together at the um, local playing fields and... They'd actually named a street after me in the village called Bethwell Close. So uh, people for <laughs> decades will now know kind of what my achievements were in the village. And it was just so nice that they're so proud of me and it was nice that I could take it home to them. Um, tell us about the other work that you're doing because um, you, you are trying to bring on a lot of young people now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gymnastics has given me so much throughout my life and so I've teamed up with a swimmer, um, Stephen Parry, who was an Olympic bronze medalist. And I just wanted to put a doorstep chance for children to have a go at gymnastics. So we set up in just local schools in a variety of different areas. And the first academy that we set up in um, Speak in Liverpool had something like 90 requests for it and we only, we only set up a class for about 40. So um, straight away we knew that there was a demand. I mean, obviously with the Olympics, we wanted to inspire that generation. If you can't inspire children with an Olympic Games on your home soil, how are we going to inspire them? So if I can sort of pass that experience on and maybe put a smile on one child's face, then that's my job done. And you're doing some charity work as well? Yeah, I'm a patron for two local charities, the Northwest Air Ambulance and the Older Hay Imagine Appeal. I love working with children, um, so it just seemed an ideal um, sort of route to go in with Older Hay. I've been in a couple of times to visit, and the work that they do in that hospital is just unbelievable. It's so close to my gym as well. And obviously, the Northwest Air Ambulance, it costs something like four million to keep one helicopter up in the air, and it only takes a split second, and you might need that air ambulance that could save your life. And what, you've got you've a career spanning some 14, 15 years or so now. Um, what, what, what's next for you? There's lots of different opportunities at the minute. I'm just making the most of everything. So um, I am still training. I'm just sort of taking a break from the competitive side. A couple of weeks after the Games, I went wing walking. So Wing walking? Yep. So I was up on the plane doing all the loop-the-loops. I want to do a skydive. Hopefully I'll link that up with one of the charities to raise, yep, to raise some money for them. But the fact is, your name is up there with all those great sporting heroes um, that we've had over the years. You know, David Beckham, Bobby Charlton, uh, Victoria Pendleton, Chris Hoy. 
Beth Tweddle. <laughs> How, how do you feel about that? Did you did you think that that would ever happen? To you? Not at all. I mean, I did gymnastics because I loved it. I didn't do it to become Britain's best, and I just worked hard and I had a dream that I wanted to achieve, and no one was going to stand in my way of achieving that. And that's your message to everyone else, young so people, the young dream. people, I suppose, who want to follow in your footsteps. Yeah. The main message I like to get out to any child that I speak to or any person, whether it's in sport or in everyday life, is to make the most of every opportunity because you never know anything is possible. Beth Tweddle, many congratulations on being nominated for this award. Thank, Thank you. you very much indeed. Thank Thanks you. very much. So we've heard all about Britain's most successful female gymnasts, but what about the gymnasts of the future or the athletes of the future? Anyone here want to be a gymnast? Why? I want to learn how to spin, spin in the high bars and, and, show, and show all my family what I'm doing. It's always been my dream to be a gymnast. What did you make? I really, really, really liked her. She was pretty and she was kind. It was exciting because I know she's famous and she's a bronze medalist, so I was very excited. It was inspiring because when you met her, you know, like, she teaches you what you can do and what you like, what you have to do in your life to be a good athlete or a gymnast. I'd like to do the same as what she'd done, and said I would like to try and get a gold. Well, we've heard all about how Beth Tweddle is inspiring a new generation of athletes and supporting local charities. Aside from her medals and her MBE, she's got a street named after her, a train named after her, even an ice cream named after her. But will she have a new award to add to her collection tonight? Let's uh, return to the awards ceremony to find out who is the Scottish Power Trinity Mirror, your champion of champions for 2012. Who do we think it is, kids? <laughs> 